Hi, this is Mike with OnPoint Software. Welcome to our free tutorial to set up ODBC to connect Sage Timberline Office Core Module data to Microsoft products like Word, Excel, and Access. Let's jump into the software. Alright, to set up ODBC, you're going to click on Start. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Control Panel in my example. From there, go to Administrative Tools and then Data Sources ODBC. Alright, go ahead and at that point click on System DSN and click on Add. Next step, scroll down and find the Timberline driver, Timberline Data. Click Finish and the data source name, name your DSN. I'll go ahead and call mine uh, free, as in free tutorials and then click on Select Folder. Now on your screen you'll probably see construction sample data in a list of your company or companies. So go ahead and select your folder and then click OK. This is the database that will be accessed when uh, Word or Excel or Access uh, dive in and grab Timberline data. OK, next step, click on Options and click on Table and Naming Field Conventions and Standard Descriptions. Okay, leave the first and the second box not checked. Click OK. Click OK. Uh, go ahead and, and disregard this error message. Uh, Timberline and uh, uh, a Microsoft update are arguing with each other and that's being that's being worked on so this this is having no bearing on, on anything we're doing and shut down administrative tools and that's it you have successfully set up a an ODBC DSN so that Microsoft products or anything that's ODBC compliant can uh, access your your Sage Timberland Office core module data In closing, we'll talk about a few more uh, elements or pieces of additional information. ODBC is covered in great detail in Crystal and in ODBC courses, and we'll talk in just a minute about where you can get some more of that information. Sage Terminal Office version. I showed this to you in version 9.7. Uh, what we've talked about will apply for 9.7 and anything prior to it. If we see anything that changes the requirements in a future version, we'll be sure and put that information out here on our website for you. DSN, your data source name. Uh, we did one for Sage Timberland Office Accounting. Uh, the DSN for purchasing, for inventory, or for service management will be done with some uh, minor, minor differences. I want you to know that there will be differences though for those other modules. Uh, DSN for Timberline Reports also is set up with slight differences. Probably most important, where to go for uh, additional information. Uh, there is a crystal.pdf document that is included with your software. It does talk about ODBC. You can get that by uh, going to uh, Sage Timberline Office, going to Help, and then Documents. Uh, we've also got different conferences you can attend. We've got the Sage Timberline User Conference. We've got User Group Conferences. Uh, we've also got consultant conferences. We we teach at all of these conferences. We we have a heavy emphasis on ODBC, on Microsoft products using ODBC, and on Crystal Reports. Uh, you've also got Sage Timberline Office uh, online learning, and of course you've got your business partner and your consultant for uh, additional information. Okay, in closing, we thank you for visiting, and we ask you to go to our website at onpointsoftware.com, and please uh, uh, go to the contact tab and send us a note. Tell us what you thought about this tutorial. Uh, we listen closely to what you tell us. We want to improve the value of what you get. Your time is valuable, and uh, we, we value your feedback. Thank you.